Hi, this is Scoggin, and today I'm going to be doing a, another root beer review, and this is a, a hard root beer uh, made by the Coney Island Brewing Company. Uh, it's, uh, I don't know much about this uh, at all. I saw it and kind of caught my eye because of the Coney Island. I know uh, Coney Island is like, I believe in, yeah, it's in New York, and they uh, have a like it's kind of like amusement park, a bunch of rides and stuff. Uh, uh, really cool place to visit. It's been, been there for, for a long time. Uh, I've never been there myself, but I would sure like to go. Uh, see who makes this and everything. Say, uh, says brewed and bottled by Coney Island Brewing Company, Brooklyn, New York. Uh, Cincinnati, Ohio, and Ben Venezville, Pennsylvania, in color, collaboration with the Boston Beer Company, Coney Island Brewing Company. Guess I got that all over. I don't know. Uh, Says ale made with natural flavors and caramel color, added. Contains alcohol, 5.8 uh, alcohol by volume on 12 ounce bottles. And uh, see what else we got here. Ah, uh, it has like a, a best uh, when to use it and all. Then they had that little warning, you know, uh, that don't drive and operate machinery and all that stuff. Uh, they have a Coney Island Beer Company. And let's see what it says it says uh, the gypsy should have predicted this the most delightful beverage of days past reimagined for for your future self the wooden planks under your feet and the hot I can't make that out hot dog in your hand the only difference is that now you're uh, tall enough to ride the ride. Uh, makes sense to me. Says, uh, uh, made with vanilla, licorice, and birch. This root beer will bring you back to the boardwalk. I've uh, never been there, so I don't know, but we're going to find out. Coney Island hard root beer is a new twist to an old favorite. And, uh, that's what it goes. And uh, down here it says, are you tall enough to ride? It says it right there. Go ahead and show it to you. I don't know if you can read that. It says, are you tall enough to ride? Well, I don't know if I'm tall enough to ride, but I'm old enough to buy. So that's why we're going to go ahead and review, <laughs> review this. Uh, and something else before I do that, I have a little short story to tell you about my daughter. Uh, she loved the rides. I mean, she loved to ride rides at Six Flags and whenever we went to a music park when she was just a, a little girl, uh, five, six years old, uh, she would get up against that little little deal what says, are, are you tall enough to ride? She would get up there and I, I remember uh, standing on her tiptoes to make herself bigger so that it would look like she's uh, tall enough. And then the guy would say, no, nah, you're not tall enough. You can't ride, so I would say, uh, what if I rode with her, can't you ride then? Sure, you can do that, so mm -hmm. it, it was covered, she, she rode, so that's all that matters. But I'm going to go ahead and give this re a review. Uh, it's got a pretty cool uh, uh, deal to it because it looks like a roller coaster uh, going around the root beer uh, glass there, and it just... Uh, Really a kind of kind of nice looking bottle. I I, I kind of like it. Without further ado, we're going to go ahead and open it up with my Big Reggie opener, and uh, want to give a shout out to you, Big Reggie. Hope you're doing fine. And uh, once again, thanks again for the opener. I'm putting it good use. Guess you saw one of my videos where I couldn't find one. See if there's anything here. Uh, ah, this is cool. On the inside, I don't know if you can see this. 
But on the inside of this, uh, it says emit one. I don't know if you can read that or not. That's really cool. I, I, I think they, uh, in presentation, they did an excellent job. Now we got to see if they did uh, any good on their making another root beer. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and pour it. Well, it dissipates real quick. Kind of like a cheap soda pop. I noticed when I did open it, it did have a little bit of uh, uh, smoke uh, coming out of the top. So we'll go from there. It, it's the uh, uh, head is already dissipated. Mm, not got much smell at all. There's a a slight, 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 slight aroma of uh, vanilla and maybe a little licorice there, but it's not overwhelming. I mean, I, I really gotta, I really gotta breathe in to uh, uh, smell it. So uh, I don't know if that's a good sign or not, but. When I open it and pour it, I can't smell the smell. You have got to really like to smell it. Really breathe, breathe in, and it's not, it's not there. I mean, it's you can smell it. There's a little hint, but it's not like over, overcoming like, like when you on on another uh, hard root beer. What I uh, did a review on. The minute I pour that thing, I can smell it. I mean, I can sit here and smell it, and that's that's a good sign. Now I'm going to go ahead and take a taste and go from there. <coughs> that's not the root beer. That's that's me. Excuse me. Sorry. I taste uh, a little bit of vanilla, a little bit of, of, of uh, licorice, not a whole lot. I mean, it's it's there. Uh, it's really sweet. This is really, really, really sweet. I mean, it's got like an overwhelming sweetness to it. It's like if uh, uh, sweetness to that of of syrup. If you if you just like just drinking pure syrup, mm. overly sweet. Uh, taste the vanilla and and like a licorice, and there's some other spices in there. Uh, nothing to really brag about. Uh, aftertaste is nothing but sweetness. It's like if you if you popped a, one of the root beer candies in your mouth and, and it's uh, sucking on it. That's, that's the sweetness of the aftertaste is it stills there and it lingers on. Hmm. Got kind of a rough uh, feel in the mouth. It's not smooth, not creamy. Kind of a rough uh, there. I kind of uh, kind of relate this to a uh, cough syrup, <laughs> like a, a big formula forty four maybe. Uh, if you ever tried that, I don't even know if they make it anymore, but back in, in the day, uh, you'd taste like the big Formula 44 and it had that, that 
uh, kind of a sweetness to it and, and everything. That's kind of what I'm getting here on, on this uh, hard root beer. Mm. Now it's time to rate it. Uh, on on this root beer, what I have to uh, rate, I rate my uh, beers from one with the lowest, five with the highest. I would have to give this one a three. Uh, I mean, it's it just it's not what you would expect in a in a root beer. It tastes like root beer. It's overly sweet. Uh, if you like the sweetness, you'll love this, because that's nothing but it's it's like uh, just really sugar. I mean, like if you like just taking spoons of sugar, then that's fine. But it doesn't do anything really for me. Uh, would I buy it again? No, um, I wouldn't buy this again. It just don't uh, appeal to me. Maybe that's why they do it in New York. I, I don't know. But there's not even a root beer around what I can compare it to. It, it's not bad. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that it's 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 a bad root beer. Uh, it just it don't appeal to me because of the sweetness. It don't really have any kick to it. It's it's like just kind of a a, a cheap soda pop type. Uh, and I hate to disappointed if, 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 if a lot of you out there like Coney Island, that's nothing wrong with that. I mean, keep on drinking it. That's that's more power to you. Uh, but it just don't appeal to me. Uh, it's not like what I expected. I've really expected more, I guess, out of this than than what I what I got. Uh, but go ahead and give it a try. Uh, make your own decision. You can leave a comment. Uh, you know, if you think I'm wrong, then uh, I'd love to have, hear your comments. Uh, nothing wrong with that. Everybody has a different taste. And uh, it just that I, 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 I expected more out of, out of this root beer than what it, what it brought. Uh, if, if, if Coney Island rides it like this, then well, I ain't really missing nothing. Well, I'm just saying that. I rated it a three, so we'll leave it at that. This is Coggett. Appreciate all you viewers and subscribers out there. Hope you appreciated this little review. Uh, I'm not here to uh, cut down the Coney Island Brewing Company. I'm, I'm sure they they do the best they can, but they just uh, uh, really disappointed me on this. I, I, I thought this would really be good, and, and it turned out that I really didn't care for it. So uh, there you go. Uh, this is Scoggett. Appreciate all you viewers and subscribers out there, and y'all take care.